there's something I really want to show you. It's something I bought earlier during this week and it's something that I had when I was a child and I can't believe it was on sale for freaking three pounds. But I bought a space hopper. I love it so much. What up guys? So it's been over a week now and I haven't uploaded a video in ages even though it's been like what like nine days to me that's too long but I'm back now and you should be getting a video next Wednesday because I'm, I'm not gonna set this in stone but basically I'm gonna try and upload a video every single Wednesday from now on um, so there'll be another video on Wednesday which isn't that far away so I better think of another idea. And basically today is something that I wanted to talk to you guys about for a long time and that is I am colorblind. Colorblindness is actually a bad word for it. It's a word that most people use and if you go to an optometrist they'll probably say that you're colorblind too. But really a better word for it is more color deficient. Because basically I'm not colorblind in the sense that I can only see in black and white because I can see a full variety of colors. But I have a deficiency in the sense that I can't distinguish very well between red and green. And this causes problems especially when you have to distinguish between shades of colors. So two shades that might look completely different to you will look identical to me. Colorblindness is actually genetic and most people who have colorblindness are actually born with it such as myself. I don't want to get too scientific but it's something that affects men more than women is because it affects the X chromosome and because women's chromosomes are XX they can actually cancel out each other so if one of the X's has the mutation and the other one doesn't they can cancel out because it is a recessive gene whereas a man because he only has one X in his chromosomes he'll get the color blindness guaranteed. Science. Although the gene is recessive if a female is colorblind and she has children if she has sons all of them will be colorblind. I don't want to put the blame on anyone, but basically it's women's fault why men are colorblind. Colorblindness is something that you can live with and have and not even realize because it's something that doesn't really hinder you in everyday life. Because up until I was 16, I didn't know that I was colorblind. See, what happened is I went to an optometrist because I was having problems with my eyes because I actually have another thing which is called stigmatism, which basically means that my eyeballs are more of a rugby ball sort of American football shape than they are completely circular. Yep, Kareem has a lot of problems. So when I went to this optometrist, one of the first things she noticed is I was having Having problems um, with differentiating colors and um, so she said as a standard procedure let's do a quick colorblind test to see if you're colorblind you never know you might be now here's an example of what a color test looks like um, you might be looking at home and might see a number straight away but I genuinely cannot see a number in those bubbles I failed every single question I had no idea what the numbers inside the bubbles were because literally I couldn't see anything it just looked like all the bubbles were the same color and literally I thought she was like trolling me and I was like you're lying to me you're lying there's no freaking number in that bubble and she was like to me yes there is yes there is a number in that bubble and I swear to this day I genuinely still don't believe that there's a number in the bubble she showed me because literally it all looked the same color like I'm not even exaggerating to you it all looked the same color if we're looking at this bubble which I put earlier you can't see a number most likely you are colorblind and I recommend you go get it checked out. But yeah, as I was saying, colorblindness doesn't really affect you in your everyday life because as you can see, I'm very normal. <laughs> However, if you live in certain countries, colorblindness might affect you in other ways. For example, in Romania, you can't get a driving license if you're colorblind. Or in America, if you wanted to become a pilot, you might be able to get a license if you are colorblind. However, you might only be allowed to fly during the daytime. And because of the problems with differentiating between shades, you'll probably make a really, really bad fashion design if you're colorblind. Which is probably a viable excuse if you're a fashion designer and you have a shit design and you put it on a catwalk and everyone gives you criticism for it. You could just be like, oh my god, guys, come on, I'm colorblind, you know. Be nice. However, colorblindness can actually be a benefit to you. Well, recently studies have proven that if you're colorblind to red and green, you'll be able to spot objects such as humans or camouflaged animals better than a person with regular color vision would. So as a practical use, if you were a hunter, it would be much better for you to be colorblind to red and green than it would be to have normal regular color vision. Also, a big misconception with colorblindness is that most people think dogs are colorblind. This is actually false. Dogs can see in color, it's just they don't see as well in color as humans do. Another animal misconception is that people think bulls are attracted to the red in a Salvador's cloak or cape or whatever you want to call it. It's not the color that attracts them, it's actually the waving of the cape that irritates them. So don't be alarmed if you're wearing red and you're near bulls. As long as you don't flay it about, I'm sure they won't chase you. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me that massive thumbs up. And also let me know down in the comments below if any of you guys are colorblind, because it'd be awesome to know how many kimchi's are colorblind, just like me, the captain of the kimchi's. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, it means a lot. I'll see you guys soon. Karimji out. Well, which is basically my ball. My balls. Kareem, Kareem, what color is that? What color is that? It's red. Oh, how did you know? I thought you were colorblind. Uh. They see me bouncing. They're hating.